Is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom your most anticipated movie of the year? I already thought so. And there are some rather obvious reasons why it came all the way to this point. So these are 5 reasons how Aquaman 2 completely destroys itself. Let's get down to business. Have you ever wanted to go to, let's say, a restaurant? You decide to reserve in advance because you want to eat in quiet circumstances. But when you arrive, you realize it's packed and you hardly get anyone's attention. That's basically what happened to Aquaman 2. It definitely has some competition from films like Anyone But You, The Migration, The Iron Claw and the widely anticipated American fiction as they all hit theaters on December 22nd. Just like the Aquaman sequel. And I didn't even mention more well-known releases like Wonka, Maestro or even Napoleon. Now just because movies are released around the same time doesn't mean it can't perform. But what can definitely help to bring excitement and anticipation to a movie is for example to appear in another movie and that's thank you oh he did appear in the flash earlier this year and what did it look like yep doesn't bring any excitement does it well Ow. that's okay aquaman 2 had plenty of time to market the movie in other ways but what clearly didn't help was a thing pretty much all of hollywood had suffered from more money less pushing that type of thing in all seriousness the Hollywood strikes didn't really do any new films their favors. But what makes this even worse for Aquaman 2 is that the strike took place at a time when the sequel was supposed to market and bring excitement to the movie. But with the lack of staff, press conferences, interviews or red carpet events, Aquaman 2 had a rough time marketing the movie. Oh then I've got another fun thing to tell you. What is that? A box of chocolates. Imagine you're going to a chocolate store. You plan on buying one box of chocolate, but at the same time you think you only buy one box and then you never come back again. Does that make you more excited about the first box? No? Precisely. There isn't really much hope that after the sequel, more Aquaman installments can be planned for the future. Not to argue that Aquaman's story couldn't be concluded without the sequel. It's just that the potential doesn't seem to be there for a possible Aquaman 3 or even 4. But there is still one final factor. Is it the narrative? No. A lack of IMAX screens? No. It's some backstage controversy. Maybe you have forgotten about the Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard controversies. But even that plays a role. Because of those controversies, Amber Heard's performance of Mira has rather been minimalized. Something you may have noticed in the second trailer of the film. Because she didn't even appear in it. As a lack of screen time has a significant impact on the plot and on Mira as a character.